Alright guys, AshPFC here, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. So, I've just uh, off-screen rewound time, so we're back on the uh, first day. See, so yeah, I will uh, slot on time. It's this dog's problem, huh? Never seen part human, part fish before. Anyways, uh, let's get me. Uh, Put your head on so we can move around a little faster. Right, um. Duh, 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 duh. Right, I'll tell you what. Let's get to West Clock Town. We head into the uh, trading post. Remember where the scarecrow is? So just like Ocarina of Time, I'm going to be playing the Scarecrow song. It's going to work exactly the same way, so you can just make up your own tune. So... I'll do. <laughs> if you can remember in... Um, if you watched my Ocarina of Time playthrough, when I did the Scarecrow song. Uh, I was writing it all down so I won't forget. And I, I just really complicated it. But uh, it counted... Um, like the gap in between me pressing the buttons, so it's like the world's longest song every time I played it. <laughs> so we'll keep it uh, much more simple uh, this time around. So yeah, the Scarecrow song. So there's gonna be um, a few places where again, just like all Queen of Time, um, you'll be able to play the Scarecrow song. That'll summon the Scarecrow and it'll allow you to hookshot to him to get to place you wouldn't normally be able to get to. Uh, so yeah, it's exactly how it was in. Um, Ocarina of Time. All right. Let's head on out. Stuck up on a few supplies. I want some rupees. Need at least ten. So kill that bird. Cause why not? Oh, should probably get my arrows out. There we go. Right, so we head uh, back towards the uh, the Great Bay. Boulder, which you may have seen previously. Leavers, would you kindly piss off? Thank you very much. Thank you. 
All right, so down here, just take care of these uh, things. Another form of Deku Baba. All right, I've got these hives. One of them's got a piece of heart in it. I forget which one, so we'll just we'll shoot them all down. And then if we go into Azora, sink to the bottom. Boom! There you go. Takes off the uh, piece of heart right there. Which uh, I cannot find my. Uh... Oh, there it is. Uh, 23. Alright, back up. and uh, we'll walk to the swamp. Switch to um, Deku Scrub so we can do business over here. Yes, these are selling the magic beans. Just buy uh, one lot, 10 rupees. Alright. Obviously, we're planting the uh, beans, so we're gonna need some uh, spring water as well to make it actually grow. And I'll tell you what, while I'm here, we'll just pop down this hole because I'm gonna want to be getting some fish as well. And there should be a f fish down here. I think it's yeah. Okay. Can I catch that dude in the bottle? I think it's just one. Okay. Let's go back up. And there is some uh, spring water. I don't know where I'm at. It's over here, isn't it? This way. Actually, more fish over here as well. Too deep for me to catch, actually. Um, yeah, I'm probably not gonna be able to catch those. Oh no, maybe I can get that guy there. I'm quick enough. No, 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 no. God damn it. Yeah, there we go. Ah, got that guy as well. Alright, so, um, over to the Great Bay now. Right, now if we head in here, where we previously uh, put the eggs, there's another tank here with these uh, evil looking fish. So you go up top and then drop the fish in that I've just caught. One of them's going to eat it and grow bigger. And the idea is to uh, make one grow as big as it possibly can. Like the other one, it's it's random, I think, which one. He's basically gonna get the fish. Put a third one in. 
I'm going to need to catch a few more, but we'll get those in a moment. Not a problem. Alright. Let's head back out for now. Alright, so back to Zora. We're swimming up uh, to this sort of uh, northeastern area over there. outside the entrance as well to the uh, uh, Pirate's Fortress. That I think that one, remember that, that tells you about the soldier, the invisible soldier that's in there where I got the storm mask. The reward for a Romanized nighttime assistant seems to be something special from the ranch. And as you can see, we have got some more fish right here. It's I think we only um, mm. provided the, the big fish, the fish that's eaten the last three fish, he eats them all, not the other one grabs some. Uh, I think we might just need him to eat two more fish, possibly, maybe three. I forget the exact number. But we'll, we'll scoop what we can for now. So, uh, it should be enough, hopefully. Anyway, um, we'll get the hook shot out. If we look up, we can see some of these um, objects that you can hook to. That one's a little bit far out, actually. Uh, I think there's one around this side we can get to. Yeah, I should be able to reach that one. There we go. And then to that one. Yeah, and there you go, that's the uh, soil patch we've been planting the bean in that we previously bought. Alright, pop the spring water on there. it up. We have to jump onto this platform. And Scarecrow song again. You'll know um, because um, Tal she moves over there and turns that bluish colour. Navi did the same amount of time she turned the greenish colour sort of indicating that you could play the Scarecrow song. Or you know just highlighting something of interest anyway. There you go. Back on over to the bastard. Ah, snaggy piece of heart. Yes, so I think that's uh That'll take us to ten. Or is it eleven? How many hearts have we got? Yeah, that's the uh yeah, that'll be the 11th heart since we just got another four there. And... I'm struggling to find... Uh... The OBS has gone all weird. Why has it done this to me? There we go. So 
that's 24. It's weird, OBS has suddenly now decided to stop doing the whole lag thing, even though I'm clicked in on the game. Well, at least... It doesn't look like it, anyway, both, both screens I'm looking at right now. The actual game and OBS are looking very smooth. Whether or not they've recorded that way, I don't know, but... So it's gone all weird in my sources tab. Is the where everything, all these little images on the side, that's where they're all selected. Well, anyway. We got his heart right there. So we uh back on over to drop the fish off. I must have wearing that mask. Alright, let's feed the fish. With fish. I used to have loved having. Uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, so you just need one more fish. So once he's big enough, he'll eat the other fish, and boom, there you go, spout a piece of heart. Which is number. Is that 25? Yeah. Nope. Nearly halfway there with the uh, heart pieces. Alright. Yeah, I was saying uh, I used to love having uh, goldfish when I was a kid, but now I just I don't I don't, I don't get them. I just remember um, I used to have that traditional goldfish. Had these. Let me get this one fish. So they were funny because I'd like. They like it sort of puffed its cheeks out. What did I used to come in with? I think they were funny. Just a funny looking thing. It's like. Face is all bloated. It was an odd looking thing. And, uh. We used to get through so many because we had this cheap tank. And my cat at the time. It could knock the lid off. And he'd just be stood on the tank and he'd just. He'd, he'd get him. He'd get the fish out of the tank. <laughs> Did we realise there'd be a fish missing all the time? I used to get those fish from, uh, you know, like at fairs and stuff. Like, you hook a duck, like the world's easiest game. You just hook a duck, you get a fish. Give me those little bags. They will only live like half a day, don't you get it? Take it out. You'd be dead in the morning. <laughs> Where do they get their fish from? I remember in this, um, it was like, a, I used to just call it an eel fish. It looked like a, a like a little eel, a little snake-like fish. Um, it was really fast. And uh, every time I used to take, like, the little, I used to have a little hatch on this lid, I had to, like, feed, put the food in. It jumped out every single time. I don't know what sort of fish it was, I don't know the names of any fish, but... Yeah, that were a little bugger. That guy lived for a while as well, actually. And I, I think my cat got him as well. And I remember as well, one of my uh, best friends back when I was a kid, he had this uh, fish. They were really old. And it were dying. And it used to just like swim on its side. And just like go around in circles. But what they used to do is... I don't know how they figured this out, but they'd... Pour, I think it was they poured a little bit of whiskey into the tank, and all of a sudden the fish would be full of life. It'd be upright again and loving it, swimming around like it would, you know, a youngster again. Really weird. Anyway, sorry, I'm, what am I doing talking about fish? We're over here in the Zora Cape. Um, just one la last little thing for us to do uh, in this particular area right now. We won't have time for uh, the rest of it. Goddamn levers all over this place. Alright, there is uh, a gossip stone there. Let's have a chat. 
to get Evan to listen to Mikao and Jappa's song from their music session, you should try it not demonstrating it as Mikao. It seems if you pause as someone unrelated to the band and begin playing it, you just might get him to lend an ear. Alright. You need to worry about that for now. Anyway, we'll just go over here to this waterfall area. Zora mask. I'm just gonna sink down to the bottom where there's gonna be some of those evil fish and the like like. Oh crap. Yeah, get a lot like uh, suck you up. You can just use your shield to take him out. We'll get your distance and throw your um cutter things. Yeah, anyway, the lot like uh, once he's dead, he'll have a heart piece. So uh, number twenty-six. I'm about the heart pieces on it this episode. Alright, come on, here we go, there we go. What's the trouble with these Zora controls? Which is to swim, which is to float up and. Oh. That's pretty much all we can do right now. Well, it's all we're going to do right now because uh, we're running out of time. But uh, if we look up here, there is these platforms that can hook shot to these trees, which leads to a cave up top, which is going to be our next uh, destination. Right, so for right now, just walk back over to the save point. So yeah, the, that's going to do it for this part here. Next time is a couple more um, side things uh, we're going to be doing within this area. One of them um, is probably going to frustrate the crap out of me. <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.